Dear students, today we will take up the session first of theme 6, Displacing Indigenous Peoples of Class 11th History. We will cover 6 subtopics along with the glossary of important terms. These are introduction of the theme, sources used, nature of European imperialism, the North America and its geography, subsistence strategies of Americans and natives encounter with Europeans. The learning objectives of today's session are to help you understand that why indigenous people are left with no spaces in textbooks, to assist you in understanding the concept of forced displacement, to make you understand the concept of European imperialism and its consequences, to understand the conflicting notions of civilization. So, dear students, have you ever thought about that how countries like America evolved to be what it is today? Do all Americans belong to the same land? Do natives of America cherish the notion of modernity? What were Europeans' motives? Why they were keenly engaged in exploring new regions? In today's session, at first we will discuss about the introduction of the theme and European imperialism. Then we will also learn about the indigenous tribes of North America and from which sources their history is reconstructed. Introduction The theme tells the story of what European settlers did to the native peoples of America and Australia. The natives and the Europeans represented competing notions of civilization. Sources Oral history Fictional works and later built museums European imperialism Expansion drives undertaken by France, Holland and England in countries of America, Africa and Asia. Strong colonization motives draw countries into the race of colonization. Nature of control varied sometimes only colonization and sometimes gaining political prominence. Collection of revenue in colonies introduced more facilities in order to make trade easier. Official language of these colonies was English. Recall what is colonization? The trade of which commodities proved to be lucrative for Europeans. Dear students, our next topic of discussion are North America and its geography. Geography Located in Eastern Hemisphere, West Rocky Mountains, East Great Plains, South Mexico, Natural Resources, Rich in Oil, Gas and Mineral Resources. Wheat, corn and fruit were grown extensively. Fishing is a major industry. So, dear students, so far we have covered European imperialism and physical features of North America. Let us move towards the understanding of nature of native people and their subsistence strategies. Furthermore, we will discuss the clash of civilizations. But before that, can you tell why North America qualified as a suitable place to become a colony of mother country Europe? The native people, initially migrants and later settled. Subsistence, lived in groups along valleys, ate fish and meat, consumption on daily basis. No need to own land, formed alliances and exchanged gifts. Skilled craft people and spoke numerous languages, encounter with Europeans. Friendly and welcoming natives, exchange of local products, fish and furs, in exchange of blankets, iron vessels, guns and alcohol with Europeans. Natives developed addiction to alcohol and Europeans developed for tobacco. Europeans became prominent in exchange, relationship and dictated terms of trade. So, this is how the story of acquisition of natives 
land and their displacement and roles. Let us now have a quick recall of what we have learned today. What is oral history? What was purpose of European colonization? How did trade of alcohol proved to be beneficial for Europeans? Assignment. It is now time to note down your assignment related to today's session. Give detailed analysis of North America's geography. Did natives behaved in the same way as the Europeans had written about them? Explain with the context of class of civilizations. Let us have a quick look at the difficult terms employed in the chapter. With this, we have now come to the end of today's session. I hope you have enjoyed it. Remaining part of this theme will be discussed in the next session. Thank you very much for your patience.